This is Mike Sinato with the Real News Network. Uh, I'm here with Nancy Pelosi's primary challenger, Stephen Jaffe. Uh, Mr. Jaffe, thanks for uh, you know coming on uh, the show. Um, can, so, can you tell us a little bit about why Nancy Pelosi uh, deserves to be primary by a progressive? Well, my uh, observation is that Ms. Pelosi is um, way out of touch and disconnected from her constituents. Um, she, her position she takes on uh, many issues is not the same as the ones I'm hearing from the people of San Francisco. Uh, I think it's important to remember Ms. Pelosi, while she may have a uh, nationwide reputation, is nevertheless a congressperson from the 12th District of uh, California, which is about 90 percent of the city of San Francisco. And I don't think she shares the same uh, political views and values that her constituents do. So uh, I live there. That's why I'm running in the 12th district. And uh, that's uh, primarily uh, why I'm doing it. And uh, what are your thoughts on her claims that uh, single-payer health care shouldn't be in the uh, 2018 Democratic Party platform? Uh, you know, she's uh, cited that it's not pragmatic. You know, it couldn't happen. I don't know what a lot of her uh, objection to single-payer uh, system means, uh, not pragmatic. What, what does that mean? Uh, she says a lot of things that uh, are just superficial and cosmetic, feel-good words, but uh, if you analyze them, they, they really are gibberish. They're nonsensical phrases. Uh, the truth is that single-payer uh, can be cheaper than um, the system that we have now. There's no profit involved in a single-payer system, uh, and it's much cleaner to operate. So uh, I don't place much um, credence in uh, her objections. And can you speak a little bit about your efforts to get dark money out of politics in the San Francisco area? Um, yes. Um, last year, I, uh, as the president of our little Democratic Club, which I'll plug now, the South Beach District Sick Democratic Club in San Francisco, we adopted a resolution on our board um, prohibiting uh, Democratic chartered clubs in San Francisco from receiving uh, dark money from corporations and distributing it to candidates and causes, propositions, uh, with, which were not consistent with democratic platforms or values. Um, that little resolution was then adopted by another democratic club, the Potrero Hill Democratic Club, and then it was adopted by the uh, county, the DCCC, Democratic County Central Committee. Um, it's now sort of in another form pending in the state legislature. Uh, the name of the bill is AB 14. So uh, I'm very proud to, to the extent I had anything to do with uh, getting it started. I'm very proud of having done that. And I think it's something that needs to be done nationally. A at the end of it, it is a Citizens United issue. And I'm hopeful that uh, if I'm elected, I can go to work on trying to reverse the effects of the uh, Supreme Court decision in Citizens United via lawful and constitutional legislation. And what do you think uh, the Democratic Party should be doing to uh, address you know, dark money and uh, the power uh, elites and the oligarchy have over it? Uh, and how can progressives um, push uh, corporate Democrats to either get in line with progressive values or get out of office? Well, that's about five questions. Let me, uh, let me tackle those. Um, in terms of changing who is the Democratic Party, uh, who controls it. I think uh, a couple things can be done immediately. The first and most important thing is to abolish superdelegates. Uh, they're undemocratic. They uh, essentially discount or discount or completely ignore the votes of people who vote in Democratic primaries. I think we need to uh, get a much more transparent uh, process in terms of nominations. We need to get rid of what I find to be um, silly arguments made by the DNC, which they're making right now during a pending court case that uh, they have a right to essentially lie, cheat, and steal and pick anybody they want, and, there's no, and they're not accountable to anyone. That is uh, not what the Democratic Party stands for. So more defined procedures and protocols, better transparency, abolish superdelegates, and uh, elect more progressives, because the more of us they are demanding those things, the much more likely and quicker it's going to happen. All right. Well, you know, thank you very much, Mr. Jaffe. Certainly. Thank you. Thank you.